Okay. Shall I sit down here? Oh, nest. Nestors. So yeah, if you're able to do it that way. No. Yeah. Good <laughs> evening <Pretty good> expenses. <laughs> I can put this on. What does that do? Ah, it's good, isn't it? How did it do it's, that? It's like you sneezed on yourself. Um, yeah, so um, <laughs> I thought, because uh, cause my kids are going to ask me all these questions about you as, as a taxi driver yeah. in the 60s, yeah. I won't be able to answer any of it because I'll probably have Alzheimer's myself. And, uh, <laughs> but I... Um, it's just all this stuff that I didn't know about, uh, you know, what it was like uh, becoming a London taxi driver in the in the sixties. So all I know is that you were you were driving already. Yes. Because you were. Um, oh, you drove for a film company, didn't you, the Italian? Oh no! What it was, we drive like a um, eight seat. Eight, no, 12 seats a van or a box wagon that you could open, you know, open the sides up and you could put all the sound gear for whatever, all the camera gear there. And, you know, the, these film companies just hire stuff out. I mean, it's pointless then buying a van or something like Italian television coming over here and uh, they just hire for three or four days. And you, you were a, a unit driver yes. for other film companies yes. as well. And we used to do move, movie rollovers or something like that. We used to drive down Dean Street, pick these things up and deliver them to companies all over London. But some, it was ideal because some days you were sort of leave, you had any, any work so you could take your moped and go and see all the points of set rules of London. And that's, that's, a, that's when you're doing the knowledge? That's doing the knowledge, yes. And it's very, very helpful because you, you're doing, you li doing deliveries all over London that you certainly started to know your way around. You didn't know the names of the roads, but once you're doing the knowledge, you could sort of pick the names up and you could put yourself going along. And it was only 18 months. So when you were, um, so, you, so you're driving already and then you um, you got the idea to get a taxi licence. Yes, because I was always skinned and never had any money. And um, I think it was before two Christmases, you know, you, you just didn't have any money in your pocket. It was a horrible feeling. So you think, well... I've had a taxi licence, at least I could go to work and earn some money and keep me out of the pub. <laughs> and when, um, can you remember what year this was, roughly? Yes, about the 3rd or 4th of January 1967. I went along to the carriage office and signed up. And you get a pep talk and the fellow says 90% of you will fall out of the it. I think he was right. And you do, would say, like, so, uh, so you sign up, and then do they, do they give you a book? Yeah, Isn't just, a just book? Uh, called a blue book, which is white, and it had about 300 different runs that you do, like um, Manor House Station to uh, Thornbury, Thornbury Square. And, and you, you just got to, well, you just do it. It's the easy way of doing it. And and in the book, do they list all of the streets and no. places? You've got to no. look up all of the places of interest. Yeah. Yeah. Hospitals. Police stations. Anything that's of interest to London. And um, how long... Can you remember roughly how long they give you to your first... Because your, your interviews are called appearances? Or? Yes. Can you remember how long it was to your first appearance? Yeah, in those days, because they were shorter drive, cab drivers, it was 28 days. Right. 
I think nowadays it's 56 days or even longer than that and then if you they didn't really nobody knew how it worked but they, they sort of worked out if you did a run uh, more or less spot on you got two points if you um, coughed hicked and spluttered your way through you got one point and I think when you got 18 points or 20 points they put you down to fortnights all right well uh, 20 points overall or 20 points in one appearance no it was more or less i don't think they would let you do it in um less than 18 months all oh, right so on each appearance could they ask you anything from the 300 anything. <laughs> oh, no. and anything I mean, my favorite one was they used to ask you the institute of meat to the institute of management and I was just fascinating me this one. It was in Bristol Institute of Meat was in Bristol House and you used to have to get your bike and look at all the names in there. And the Institute of Management was behind uh Holborn Police Station. It was just a short run, but I, I it just fascinated me the uh it's 50 years on, you still remember that. Right. That's, what, that's what I don't get. Whenever you say, um, you, because you, you don't talk much about the, the famous people you've been in the cab, but whenever you do, so like ABBA in the 70s, you remember the run that you yes. did, the fair still right. as well. It's, you know, it's just strange these things stick in your mind. What, what were the appearances like? What were they? Terrifying. Yeah. Because mum said you used to be like really I couldn't like, drink properly a, ill. Oh yeah, I couldn't drink a cup of tea. But if my if I was out having a cup of tea before I went up there, I used to throw it up. And I found what calmed me down. I would walk from Harmu Street to the public carriage office up the Angel, and I, that helped. But everybody was all the same. It was all sitting there petrified. I don't know why. It's a form of stage fright, I suppose. Yeah. Because you know, you, you don't know what they're going to ask you. And if you're doing it part-time, you need the money, you just want to pass out. Actually, get up there and sit down, and you just want to say, no, 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 I don't know it, don't know it, and get out. But they were there to test your temperament. You know, one fella, if you went in there, Mr. Finley, and you had to stand there and wait till he told you to sit down. If you sit down, he, he, he wouldn't mark you. You'd go back and come back in a month's time. No, so they could bump you out that quickly. Oh, yeah. But it was all designed to yes. wind you up. Yes. You couldn't call, what's it, the QVM Queen, Victoria Moral outside back on Palace. I mean, it's Nick. Nickname was the um, wedding cake, but no way would you allow to, you know, if you went round it, call it a wedding cake. <laughs> or the other story was if you get the Tower Bridge and the fellow said, well, keep on, he said, well, the Tower Bridge is, the bridge is up. And of course, that didn't go down very well. <laughs> Did they do it to you? Uh, or you no. just heard about it? Oh, this is. Uh, so petrified, I think we're trying to. <laughs> yeah, and when you when you were learning the the knowledge, were you on a a moped or a bike? Yes, moped with no crash helmet, like a Del Boy cheese cutter. You had on it, it was sort of part of the uniform. And what like a clipboard yes. on the front? Um, yeah. And would you write the stuff out? before you went out or would you like tear pages out of the book no or? no you just write if you, usually it was four runs you could stomach that or uh, get it in your head if you went any more than that it, you know, it was too much and the run was more or less all the roads you went through I mean I, I a fella finished knowledge and he gave me all, all the runs so. and then some you could easy top of your head someone you stumbled and what and some you couldn't you couldn't remember at all mine was all over south london and i don't know like three piles you know the easy ones 
not so easy ones and the hard ones and you used to call it over with your girlfriend I used to call it over with Vera yeah my wife so then you'd so you'd, you'd have them written out yes each road and it'd be like stuff like I don't know um, w- w- is this how they s- you used to say it? is it forward down Agar Grove left into York Way yeah and do you like comply roundabout yeah. no, bare left let you leave by I think it's as long as you sort of knew, knew which way you were going I think they fell asleep Thanks for watching. The chat continues on the link on screen here or in the description. And thanks again for showing your love with a thumbs up or subscribe by clicking on my face or the button below. Now here's the next part of the chat with my dad.